When I was younger, I was a part of this program called Boy Scouts. And the motto for the Boy Scouts was be prepared. And recently there was this hurricane in Florida and a lot of people were left without power in their homes and they probably weren't prepared. I bet they wish they had something like this. This is a power box. According to Norse mythology, there was this thunder god named Thor. Maybe you've heard of him. But do you remember the name of his hammer? The symbol of the power of Thor. What was the hammer's name? Do you know? Mjolnir. And that is what this is called because this is power. It's a power box. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. This is a beast of a power station with 54,000 watt output. This is a power station using lithium titanate battery, which is a lot safer than the other batteries out there. This will not explode, this will not blow up, and it works very well when it's super cold. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But this has the AC 110 to 120 volt, 50 to 60 hertz multi-voltage outlets. We've got three of them here. We have some USB-A ports, the fast charging and the regular, four of those. And we also have type C ports, 12 watt and a 60 watt. This has everything you can even think of. It's got AC and DC, and this will probably charge your whole house. With this 5400 watt output beast, you can use electric drills or electric tools. You can go take this camping or use it outdoors, indoors. You can even charge your electric vehicles with this when it runs out of battery. That would be perfect for on the go if you're going somewhere where there's not going to be any stations to charge your car. Take this, put it in the trunk and use it as a backup plan. That's perfect. And let me, enough talk, let me show you. Check this out. Where are some electronics? Electronics! I found some electronics. Here we go, let's check this out. Okay, so we have this 700 watt electronic comb and hair dryer com combination. We have this 1200 turbo dry hair dryer and we have this 143 watt computer stand, this monitor. So let's, we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna turn all of these on and we're gonna see if it can actually work. That's the test. First, I'm gonna turn it on by holding this button. Turn this on over here. All right, so that's on. Let's turn this on. That's on. Let's turn this on. Oh, this is noisy now. And how many watts we're using in and out. It's, it's turned on. I hope you can see that. Everything is turned on. It's not getting hot or anything. Smells good, nothing's burning. And there we go, let's turn it off. So what else can I say about this? Here's something cool. Most power stations, they're kind of terrible in the cold because they're using lithium ion batteries. This uses LTO, which is great in cold weather. In fact, it maintains 80% of its performance in the, in the minus 22 degree Fahrenheit test. And in the extremely cold uh, low temperature test, which was minus 31 degrees Fahrenheit, the conventional lead acid battery, the, like the car battery, endured only 15 hours. The lithium ion battery is even worse. It quit after just 11 hours. The Mjolnir's LTO battery lasted 32 hours is almost three times longer than the ion battery. Making it great for uh, power outages in the winter or extreme cold situations. This is great. So one of the problems of power stations is the risk of explosion. And this is mostly with lithium ion batteries because of something called thermal runaway, which I just learned about. It is a chain reaction within a battery cell that can be very difficult to stop once it's started. And in the case of lithium ion batteries, when the heat gets about 446 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermal runaway occurs and explodes. That's a bad day. But Mjolnir's lithium, the uh, titanate battery, can endure much higher temperature. 
The thermal runaway doesn't even start until 752 degrees Fahrenheit. At 752 degrees Fahrenheit, it is such a high number I can't even fathom. I'm sure you're not gonna have any problems with this. The Mjolnir passed a nail penetration test and even a drill penetrated into the battery and that didn't explode. This is the safest bet. Now the Mjolnir weighs about 50 pounds, which sounds a lot unless you compare it to its counterparts, which are bigger, bulkier, weigh a little bit more than 50 pounds. And this is, for its size, very light. Uh, you can use this anywhere you go. It's got a strong output and it's great for emergency situations where you need strong electric currents. This is great for portability. I, I mean, if you have an emergency outside in the super cold winter or the dead heat of the summer, this is going to be there. It's gonna be trustworthy. It's gonna work for you. And that is amazing. For me, I'm just gonna take this camping in the super cold because <laughs> winter's coming. But since I was a Boy Scout, be prepared. That's why I like Mjolnir. And I like saying Mjolnir, and that's why I will keep on saying Mjolnir, 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 Mjolnir.